would I'd go right here into this donut shop before school and I was fucking crossing this road, dude. And I went to go throw down on my board and I fucking, my like foot hit the wheel and I just smacked the floor, like dude. And there was like all these like, you know, cars, kids are getting dropped off the school and shit. I was so embarrassed, so funny, dude. Every time I see that intersection, I just like have flashbacks of me, like just dying in the middle of the road. My name is Chase Webb, and we are in Marietta, California, AKA Egypt. <laughs> pretty much the middle of nowhere, and uh, I pretty much have no complaints. I live with my parents here and chilling. We have a skate park in town, but it's like it's closed down now, pretty much. They have like a prison style fence around it. We'll go hop the fence there sometimes and skate. This place used to be popping back in the day, dude. All the homies. Watch my homie get tased right here. This is the urban myth of why this park is closed. Homie like got tased by a cop because he wouldn't get out of the park without a helmet. And it tased him and he just ripped the taser off and started running, dude. That's like the urban myth of why it's fucking closed, but. First grind on this in probably six years, something. I used to skate that rail so much. That was the thing I learned everything on. Oh, I'm going so slow. I mean, it doesn't look that cool anymore. There's no friends here, but it's still here. They haven't buried it in yet, thank God. You know that rail that uh, Cole Wilson, like, nose guy Nolly flipped, like the kink rail? It was in his real street part, his, like, last trick. It's like five minutes right there. Oh, well, we got a 16 stair right here, that JLA frontside 50 50 in Good and Evil. It's knob now, but the set's amazing. Runway for days. The rail to rail in town, I pretty much skated in, like, all my video parts. I've had, like, a little colorway commercial film there, and it's just this five rail to another rail, so you gap it, like gap from rail to rail, and it's just so unique. Dude, my homies back in the day, so fucking cooked that they did this, but they got a PVC fucking plastic, dude, and put it right here, and they fucking taped it. And my homie board slid, and this water fountain used to not be here, and he board slid, it rolled into the fence, homie comes behind him, and the PVC fucking snap dude literally snapped and this fool fucking sacked the fuck out of this thing there's a fucking uh cougar bar in there if you're an older woman it's called the cove <laughs> yeah that was my school though right there got my first fight ever in this field right here there's like three different towns like right here that are like super you know condensed Usually I just skate in like Lake Elsinore. There's a couple skate parks. It's like a town over. It's like probably 10 minutes away. And it's where I usually skate nowadays. There's two parks in Elsinore. But this one I like a little bit more. It's got like more of a variety. I get hooked up by this brewery in town called 8-Bit. They opened up, I think, like probably two years ago now. And my homie was a chef there and he kind of just introduced me to everyone. And so like I go there now all the time, me and the homies will go there and they hook it up. They got really good beer, really good food and 
all my homies work there too, so it's where I usually kick it. When the time comes to buy a house, I'm for sure gonna buy a house out here just because it's in the middle of everything. It's where I grew up, like all my OG homies are out here, so it's like, I don't know. I gotta rep the town, you know? This is fucking my spot. Like, I love Marietta as much as it's in the middle of nowhere.